Hello guys. My name is Leo, and my wife's name is Luna. Today, I'll share with you the most horrible incident of my life. If you like my story, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. My life was not full of happiness anyway, but it was the worst event of my life. When my wife cheated on me, I learned how cheating a very loving person can ruin your life. I belong to a very good family. My father was a government employee. My mother died when I was a child and my father died in a car accident when I was 15 years old. After the death of my parents, my eldest sister, Lucy raised me like her own child and loved me very much. She was the closest person to me in my life and I loved her very much. My sister had a best friend. Her name was Lily. She often used to come to our house with her younger sister, Luna. Later on, Luna became my wife in childhood. When she came to our house with her elder sister, we played a lot together. She was included in one of my good friends. But when her eldest sister got married, after that, she never came to my house. Last time I met her at her sister's marriage at the age of 15 because her eldest sister was my eldest sister's bestie. And I went there with my sister. But my sister's friend got married. She came to our house with her husband and sometimes alone. But Luna never comes. I still remember our last meeting at her sister's wedding very well. There was a very intense fight between us. She was playing with a common friend of ours, which I felt was very bad because she was not giving me the time. We had a big fight over this and I was very angry with her and never wanted to see her again. Those childhood days were very beautiful and I still remember them very well. Many years later, we again met at a company where I used to work. I had been working there for three months and Luna came there for an interview. I saw her when she was talking with the receptionist about her interview. When I saw her, I immediately recognized that it was Luna. So I helped her a lot but did not tell her who I was. I thought that maybe she would automatically recognize me when she talks to me now. But she did not. She had been selected for a job and started her job. By the next day, I don't know if Luna would be so happy to work there. But I was very happy to work with her. Luna entered the office in the first day of her job. She was looking very confused because she did not know anyone there and had never worked in any company before when she saw me, came directly to me because she only knew me a little at that time because on the day of her interview, I helped her a lot. I gave her a lot of information about her work. And then I showed her the office from there. She had to sit and work. A good friendship developed between us. Two weeks had passed while she was working there. But she still had not realized that I was her childhood friend, Leo. I did not want to tell her this myself because I wanted her to recognize me as a childhood friend. And this started to happen. One day I asked her for lunch at a nearby restaurant. She accepted me and we both had a nice lunch together while eating. She stared at me as if she was trying to recognize me. I asked, why are you looking at me so intensely to which Luna said, do we both know each other? I felt silent listening to her and wondered if I should tell her who I am. I was about to tell her something about myself when Luna told me that I feel like I knew you long ago, I feel as if you are my very old and good friend. I was about to tell her that I'm your childhood friend. But I remembered that it's a birthday next week and I have a picture of us both as kids. So I decided to tell her about myself on her birthday. I will tell her all the truth and give her our childhood picture as a gift. Next week, I called her on her birthday and wished her a lot of blessings. She asked me, how did you know about my date of birth? And that today is my birthday. Meanwhile, her house's doorbell rang. I found out that the person to whom I had sent her birthday present had come to the door. She asked me to be at the phone and went to open the door. I hung up the phone because I thought when she would see the picture of our childhood and get to know all the truth. She will call me herself, but that did not happen. 
and she found out that I was her childhood friend and saw the picture instead of calling me, she came straight to my house. I was just waiting for her phone to come. When the bell of my home rang, I went and opened the door. There was Luna in front of me. I could not imagine that she came to my house and she immediately hugged me. She started arguing with me that why did not. I tell her earlier that I am her childhood friend. So I told her that I wanted you to recognize me by yourself. But it still did not happen at this. Luna joked that I could not recognize you because you don't look like a childhood Leo at all. You're quite handsome. Now, Luna was quite beautiful as a child, but now she has a very beautiful and charming personality. Anyone could easily be attracted towards her. So I slowly started to love her. At first, I only liked her as a friend, but now I wanted to marry her and I was only sure that Luna also liked me somewhere and she would not refuse me when I I proposed to her. But it is a fact that no matter how confident a man is, he becomes nervous while proposing to a girl because he's very afraid of her rejection. One day, Luna came to my house and told me that my sister wanted to marry me to her husband's younger brother. She told me her eldest sister wanted to date him. And after the relationship, she got married to him. She told me that her sister's husband, younger brother likes her very much and he also wants to marry her. I was afraid that she might not get married to this person and I might lose her forever. But from Luna's expressions, she did not look happy. It was felt that she did not want to marry this person. Luna said that she doesn't like this person because he does not do a good job. And I don't want to marry such a person at all. I will marry someone who has a bright future has a good job and also has his personal house. I was happy for a moment listening to Luna's words because I can give her all the comforts that she wanted. But then I suddenly felt like maybe she was talking about someone else. But I asked her, do you like someone or you are in a relationship with someone in which she flatly denied me and said, no, there is no one in my life. I became happy and made up my mind that I will propose to have a marriage as soon as possible. And then we both spend a peaceful life together. After a week, there was a new year, I arranged a new year party at my home and proposed to her in front of my colleagues, she accepted it. And after a few months when I got a promotion, we got married in the presence of our family members and some of our mutual friends. I was very happy to marry my favorite person. And also Luna loved me a lot. She cared for me a lot. I take good care of her. And my first priority was to fulfill her wishes. Everything was going nice. But our happiness was not long lasting. After one month of our marriage, one day, I was coming back to my home from the office on the way. I was unconscious because of my illness and my car got into an accident. That accident was so severe that I did not regain consciousness for a whole week when I regained my consciousness, my whole body was slowly recovering. But one of my legs was broken and the doctor said that I might never be able to walk again. But there was one hope that if I exercise then after a long period, I may get back my normal physique again. But this is just a chance I had lost my job and now confined to my house as an invalid for some time after the accident. My wife supported me and took great care of me. The company gave my position to my wife and my wife started getting the salary they were giving me. But after a few months, my wife's love for me became less and less. One day, my wife told me that the owner of our company is very old and and now his health is mostly bad and now he cannot handle business work due to bad nature. He had a lot of damage for those who deal that he signed the previous month. He cannot pay proper attention to their work. He may now need rest because he cannot manage his work. Maybe in a few days, he will send his son to their place and then his son will see business matters and will handle all the activities of the company. A few days later, when my wife came home from the office, she started telling me the news that the owner's son has come to the office and will take care of all the work. 
He was very handsome and his personality was very attractive that every girl was present there looking at him with regretful eyes. She was laughing that every girl wanted to be the girlfriend of this handsome and rich person. They were thinking that if you become a part of their life, their lives will change. And then she said, but that will never happen. Listening to my wife's words, I felt that things she is saying in the name of other girls are all her heart's desires. I could clearly see the lust in my wife's eyes. Then my wife said that if I was not in her life, she would marry her boss. She did not care about my feelings. Her words hurt me a lot, but I did not react. Now, my wife's attitude had changed. She used to work in the office more than half hours mostly came back late night when I asked her about her late coming at office. She flatly lied to me that she was in the office and her new boss takes a lot of work from their employees. Besides this, when she came home, she had a lot of expensive gifts. And when I asked her about these gifts, she lied that these are not too expensive, but that all gifts are branded and they are huge prices that included in legs were visible. Sometimes she says that she get bonus from her company, but all her excuses are just based on lies. In the first few days, I blindly accepted her excuses. But when it became her routine, I doubted my wife. So I asked one of my friends who was working in my wife's office about my wife. He then told me that my wife is always busy in boss's office. My friend also told me that after the coming of the new boss, my wife often takes off from the office. And on that same day, the boss also takes off while my wife regularly. He goes to the office. He told me they often lunch together. Everyone in the office had suspected that my wife and the boss had an affair. I asked my friend to spy on my wife and gave me authentic evidence against my wife. My friend sent me some pictures of my wife and his boss, but that was not enough because in those pictures, they were in a restaurant having their lunch or dinner and in some pictures, they hugged each other. If I asked about her lies, just on the basis of those pictures, I was in full faith that my wife would tell me lie on which she would not prove to be sinful. One day, my maid showed me a box with an envelope while cleaning my room. When I opened it, there was a diamond ring and in the inner side of the ring, there were two names written one on my wife's name Luna. And the second was Harry. Harry was my wife's new boss. When I opened the envelope, there was a love letter. This letter written by Harry in this love letter. Harry said that in the next week, he will meet my wife's family and arrange all the wedding preparations. After reading that letter, I was confirmed that my wife cheated on him and did not tell him about me. She showed him that she, I was pretty sure that my wife would get a divorce from me as soon as possible. But I wanted to take revenge in my wife and I cannot bear head infidelity. So I take Harry's phone number from my wife's phone. And after a long discussion, I convinced him to meet me. He agreed and I told him all the truth about my wife. He thanked me and left my wife. On the other hand, my wife arranged a divorce paper and also made preparations for her marriage, but her sweet dreams were going to be ruined. I divorced her. And after that, Terry also left her at wedding ceremony in front of all the guests. When she gets to know that Terry knew all her truth. She came back to me, but I kicked her out of the house today. Four years have passed with the help of my physiotherapist. I walked again and now I'm physically fit. I got my job again in the same company where I worked six months before I got married with the loyal girl, Ruby. Now I'm spending such a peaceful life with my wife. My ex-wife often calls me and asks me for forgiveness, but I cannot forgive her if I want